rainfall within the last 24 hours. Yeah, some of us have had over an inch of rain. That area between, uh, say, uh, south of Tulsa to about I-40 is where we have seen most of the rain over the last 24 hours. And I think we've got more coming in today. Uh, we've already got a little bit of light rain out there this morning, but it's going to pick up a little bit more once we get into the afternoon. So Tulsa itself, at least officially at the airport, not as much as what we've seen over southern parts of the metro. Oak Mulgee, though, 1.39 inches of rain. We've had over an inch of rain in Bristow. And again, some spots here uh, over an inch of rain as you get south of Tulsa and down to near McAllister. Lesser amounts up along the Oklahoma and Kansas line. And with this next batch that's moving in today, tonight, and through tomorrow, it'll be more of the same where I think some of the heaviest rain will be a little bit farther to the south and the lighter amounts as you go a little bit farther to the north. But another one to two inches certainly looking possible on top of what we have already received. So that is certainly some good news. Now, I wish we had more rain here right around Bartlesville where we really need some rainfall. It's great to see some of the rain, though, in our western counties here, Pawnee County, out in the Payne County and western Osage County. But we really need some rain right here around Bartlesville and as you head into southeastern portions of Kansas as well. So that's where we have seen some of the lesser amounts fall, unfortunately, with the system. But more on the way today, so we'll take what we can get. We've still got some very light rain lingering in the metro. It's not too much of a big deal, but just enough to keep things damp. The steadier rain and showers here is moving across southern portions of the region. A little bit of lightning and thunder still trying to hold on with this here. Now moving into parts of Pittsburgh County. So might get a little bit of lightning and thunder here from Savannah back down to around Kiowa this morning. But we're not looking at anything severe. So not really anything that's too much of a big deal. But again, might need those umbrellas and may slow you down at least a little bit as you're heading out for that morning drive. By later this afternoon, it'll become much more widespread. Right now, not everybody is seeing rain. By later today, it's going to be fairly widespread across the area to scattered as you get up along the Oklahoma and Kansas line. So those rain chances certainly going to be going up and perhaps a little thunder mixing in from time to time. And notice those temperatures similar to yesterday. We get stuck in the mid 50s pretty much all day with the clouds and the rain, keeping those temperatures in check along with a light easterly breeze. And if you got any plans tonight, we'll keep some rain in the forecast, maybe some thunder through the first half of the evening. But I think any thunder will taper off once we get into late tonight but again no severe weather to worry about with any thunderstorms that we might see today here's the view right now this is in south tulsa on the wade's rv weather camera network and everything's looking good here as you are heading out a lot of clouds overhead and again some of us still some wet roads out there area of low pressure still out here to our west and it's going to continue to strengthen and push here and across north texas as we go into the afternoon so we're on the cool side of this system a lot of moisture overrunning the cooler air that we've got in place so our rain chance is going up up. Likely severe weather, damaging wind, hail, and tornado threat as you get in parts of North Texas, including the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex. That's going to stay to our south, but we'll be on the cool side of this system. Even tomorrow morning, still some wraparound rain and a couple isolated showers linger as we go into tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures low 60s for tomorrow afternoon. By the way, a nice weekend. May have some showers Saturday morning, but I think we'll be dry Saturday afternoon and into your Sunday plans.